Women were not meant to be these stressed out creatures that we see today. We weren't. We weren't meant to be in survival mode long term. We were meant to be taken care of by ourselves, by our men, by our community. We were meant to have plentiful resources so that we could take care of ourselves so that way we could bring life physically and mentally and emotionally. We were meant to bring life into the world. So not just babies, but joy and laughter and inspiration for the people around us, for our communities. Creativity, that was all a feminine thing. We cannot do that if we are constantly obsessing over how to just survive, which a lot of women in today's world are in that position. If you are left on your own to survive, especially if you have children as a woman, then you were not taken care of. And you cannot take care of yourself by yourself, especially if you were a single mother, which means your energy is depleted, your health is depleted, your emotions are depleted, which also means your self-esteem is depleted. And then people complain about women being angry and moody and unstable, but look at the things that we are going through that we are not meant to go through. Our bodies are not equipped to go through. You must put yourself in situations where you can take care of yourself and be taken care of when necessary. This means the biggest and most important choice you can make in life is what kind of men you let into your life as your lover. Because they are either going to take from you or they are going to give to you and help your situation so that you can be more taken care of. So you need to really assess before you let a man into your life, into your sacred space, how well he is able to give or if he is just going to take. Because if he is just going to take and put you through more stress, then I can tell you right now, you will not like the person you become. And when I say he adds to your situation, I don't even necessarily mean financially. Yes, that could be a part of it, but I mean somebody who looks at you, sees you fully for who you are, takes the time to actually understand what you love, what's important to you, what you're passionate about, and does what he can in order to put you in better alignment with those things. That is how a man loves. That is how he adds to your situation. That is how he can help you get taken care of.